Hi all, Dr. Yang's here. Today's topic will be fixed orthodontic appliances or known as fixed appliance or in other words is braces. At the end of this lecture, you all should be able to outline the indication and contraindications of fixed appliances. You also should be able to identify the components of fixed appliances and you should be able to discuss the basic principles of different techniques which is edgewise, back and pre-adjusted edgewise appliance. These are the content of the lecture. I will start with introduction followed by indication and contraindication of fixed appliances then components of fixed appliances, stages, history and the basic principles, and finally the advantages and disadvantages of fixed appliances. What is fixed orthodontic appliances? It is uh, orthodontic devices which have attachments that are fixed onto the tooth surface and force are exerted on tooth via this attachment using arch wires and other auxiliaries. These appliances cannot be removed or activated by patient. It requires frequent visit to the orthodontist for adjustment. Now, what are the indications for fixed appliances? Fixed appliances are indicated when precise tooth movement are required. It is also can be used for correction of mild to moderate skeletal discrepancies. Otherwise, it also can be used in cases for intrusion and extrusion of teeth, correction of rotation, overbite reduction by intrusion of incisors, and multiple tooth movement required in one arch. In cases with hypodontia and the need of closure of extraction spaces, fixed appliance can be used for active closure of these extraction spaces or the spaces caused by hypodontia. Uh, by combination with mini screws and other auxiliaries, fixed appliances can have a better anchorage control. Fixed appliances are also indicated in patients with good cooperation and motivation in order to maintain good oral hygiene. However, in some cases, fixed appliances or braces is not the first choice of treatment. For example, the first one is poor oral hygiene. You can see that in this photo, there is a lot of food debris all around the braces and the gums are swollen. Once we remove the braces, we can see that there is a lot of white spots and decalcification at the labial surface of all teeth. This is not good for this patient because we introduce more harm than benefits to the patient from the fixed appliance treatment. Secondly, patient with poor motivation. In this kind of cases, usually patient himself or herself doesn't want any treatment at all. However, they are being pushed and being forced by their parents. So you need to reassess this kind of case really well. Thirdly, patients with lack of fine motor skills, lack of manual dexterity and poor manipulative skill. Sometimes, this kind of patient presented with um, medical conditions such as Down syndrome, uh, such as Down syndrome and some other medical disease. So, they have poor ability to use their hand in a skillful and coordinated way. Therefore, they cannot brush their teeth properly and they cannot maintain a good origin. So, this is contraindicated for fixed appliances treatment. Components of fixed appliances. Fixed appliances consist of three main components. The first one is brackets, bands and molar tube which are bonded directly to the tooth crown or in the case of molar tubes is often welded to a stainless steel bands that fit around a tooth. Secondly, the arch wire which are attached to the brackets and pass through the molar tubes. And finally, the auxiliaries which will vary between appliance type but include bracket ligatures, pin, elastic, uprighting and talking spring, ligature wires and fixed devices for anchorage reinforcement or arch expansion. 
Components of food supply chains can also be divided into two, which is active components and passive components. The active components are, the first one is ash wires. There are many types of ash wire, which is stainless steel, nickel titanium wire, cobalt chromium nickel wire, TMA, which is titanium molybdenum wire, gold wire, and optiflex wire. The other types of active components are power chains, elastic, separators, and spring. Power chains are used to move teeth in the same arch. Elastic is used to move the teeth in different arch, while separators are used to separate two teeth together, and it can be seen in two types, which is standard steel separators and elastomeric separators. And finally, the spring. The spring is used to talk the teeth. Elastic can be used in many ways. Firstly, it can be used as box elastic, where it's used in the anterior open bite cases. The box elastics will extrude the upper and lower front teeth in order to close the bite. Cross elastic is used in a patient with posterior cross bite in order to get a good occlusion at the back. In class 3 elastic, it is used in a class 3 my occlusion in order to get a positive object. Uh, in these cases, the elastic will move the lower dentition backward and it will move the upper dentition forward. In a class 2 elastic, it used in the cases in order to move the upper dentition backward and to move the lower dentition forward in order to correct the overjet. This is closed coil spring and open coil spring. Both are the active components of the fit appliances. Closed coil spring, as the name is closed, so the function is to close the space. While Open coil spring is to open up the space so that we can align a teeth. So this is a very simple concept. Okay, the next one is a passive component. The passive components are bands, buckle tubes and brackets. These are the examples of passive components used to secure wires onto brackets. The first one is lock pin, second one is steel ligatures, and the third one is elastomeric ligatures, or sometimes we call it as module. These are the type of brackets according to the system, which is either back brackets, edgewise bracket, and tip edge brackets. These are the brackets according to the material used to make up the brackets. Firstly is the metal brackets. Secondly is the gold brackets. Thirdly is the ceramic or plastic brackets. And finally is the lingual brackets, which are metal brackets which are being placed at the lingual surface of the teeth. These are the three main stages of fit appliances. Stage 1 is leveling and alignment. At this stage, the main objective is for overbite control and derotation of teeth. Second stage is space closure stage. The main objective is to for the object correction and we put power chains to close the space. And the final, final stage is finishing. But in this stage, we use wire bending technique for final detailing of teeth and sometimes we use elastic to get a proper occlusion before the bonding of the fixed appliances. The next subtopic is the history of fit appliances and their basic principles. Edward Engel introduced age-wise appliances in 1928. After that, Raymond Beck in Australia introduced back appliances in 1950s. And then in 1970s, Larry Andrews introduced pre-adjusted age-wise appliances, which is also called straight wire appliances. And then, Peter Kessling introduced tip age in 1988. Lingual appliance was introduced by Kurtz in 1970s. And self legating appliance is introduced by Stolzenberg in 1935. 
and it used the Russell Lock H-Wise attachment. H-Wise appliances use horizontal slot in bracket. Tooth movement is achieved by bodily movement and it used a lot of wire bending to achieve final tooth position. It required adjustment of arch wire in three plane which is up and down, tip and tuck. Precision in tooth positioning is achieved in finishing stage via bands. This H-Wise appliance is largely replaced by pre-adjusted H-Wise system or also known as straight wire appliances. Back appliances based on the use of differential force method by using light forces and tipping teeth. Brackets has vertical slot in which arch wire is secured with brass pin. There are three stages of treatment. The first stage is aligning teeth, correct incisor and molar relationship, cross bite and rotation by achieving an edge to edge anterior bite. Second stage is space closure and to maintain stage 1 correction. And the final stage is to correct the inclination of the teeth. Mode of action of back appliances. Back bracket design allowed teeth to freely tip. This freedom of tooth movement allowed correction of large overbite and overjet to an edge to edge position and rapid closure of extraction spaces. Finally, individual tooth root correction was managed by using light elastic force and other tooth moving axillaries, for example, uprighting springs. Advantages of back appliance are there is a lack of friction, free tipping, light force, speedy tooth movement and minimal wire bending. However, the, the disadvantages are emphasis on extraction, so we still need to do extraction in a back technique, reliance on elastic, lack of precision and all tooth correction had to be completed simultaneously because there is no parts of the bracket to stop tooth movement or hold corrected teeth in their corrected position. And then this back appliance is largely replaced by tip edge. The next kind of uh, system is a straight wire appliance or pre-adjusted edge-wise appliance. In 1972, Andrews examined 120 non orthodontic normals and identified the ideal features of the normal static occlusion. He modified the H wise appliances and then developed the straight wire appliances, which pre programmed the bracket with average value for thickness, tip, and top of clinical crown. There are two kinds of slot size in a straight wire appliance bracket, which is uh, 1828 and 2228. There are three types of prescription, bracket prescription for the straight wire appliance, which is the Andrews, Roth, and MBT. The advantages of the straight wire appliances are it reduces wire bending since it's a straight wire concept and it allows sliding mechanics and good finishing. However, the the disadvantages are it ignores biological variability and it increases frictions, hence increased anchorage requirement. The straight wire appliances differed from the standard H-wise appliances in a number of innovations. Firstly, each bracket was customized for each tooth type, meaning that the bracket for incisor is different from the bracket for premolar. Pre-angulated slot for mesodistal tooth tip. The bases of the brackets are inclined to achieve proper torque. The bases are contoured vertically and horizontally. The distance from bracket base to slot base. Built-in guidance minimizes the arch wire manipulation. The guidance features are pre-programmed to promote better occlusal goals. Bracket design facilitates accurate bracket placement. Extraction brackets are available which is uh, providing anti-tip and anti-rotation and each bracket carries its own identification. The next one is the tip edge appliances. This is uh, appliances that derive from the back appliances. It combines the favorable characteristic of both appliances. Bracket with vertical slot and built-in tip and torque. 
There is also a free crown tipping followed by a root uprighting and in these appliances, they use a light force. This picture shows the design of tip edge brackets during function. So we can see that the dimension is changing from 0.22 inch to 0.28 inch during initial tooth tipping. Sagittal view of tip edge bracket during its closing phase from 0.28 to 0.22 inch. On first insertion, no torque will be transmitted since vertical ash wire space at seats that require by 0.22 times 0.28 inch ash wire. Subsequently, torque will be derived from two point contact made with ash wire under continued closing pressure from auxiliary spring. Thought will be expressed in direction of arrow concurrent with further tip correction until upper and lower finishing surface of bracket are in perfect approximation with upper and lower surface of ash wire. As a summary for tip edge appliance, there is three stages of treatment, aligned teeth, correct incisor and molar relationship, cross bar and rotation. Second stage is space closure and to maintain stage 1 correction. And the final stage is to correct the inclination of teeth. Accessories are mainly used in stage 3. For example, the uprighting spring, top bars, derotation spring and elastic change. There is also another bracket which are called tip H plus bracket which have a deep tunnel. In this deep tunnel, 014 Naita Ashwaya can be placed inside this tunnel in order to facilitate tick and talk delivery. With the presence of this tunnel, it will eliminate the use of the auxiliary springs. The advantages of tip edge brackets are it allow tipping movement, it reduces friction in early stage, it increases inter bracket span, therefore the ashwaya will be more flexible in order to move the teeth, progressive top addition and precision precision in finishing because once a tooth has been uprighted or taught sufficiently it can held in place. However, the disadvantages are it rely on elastic and extraction. There is also poor rotational control because due to increased interbracket span, the wire will be more flexible and we will have poor rotational control because of that. And finally, the disadvantages is increased friction in later stage. There are two types of lingo appliances. First one is in ovation, which can be bonded directly, and the second one is incognito, which is custom made in the lab before being cemented in the patient's mouth. It provides excellent aesthetic. There is the main advantages of lingual appliances. However, since the braces is being placed at the lingual surface of the tooth, it causes longer operator chest at time. Increase patient discomfort, speech dis difficulty, difficulty in rotation correction, difficulty in oral hygiene, and the technique is sensitive. Self ligating appliances. In these appliances, it does not require any external form of ligation. It can be divided into two main categories, which is active and passive self ligating appliances. For the active self-ligating appliances, the bracket have a spring clip that store energy to push the ash wire into the bracket slot for rotation and torque control, for example in ovation R and speed. For the passive self-ligating appliances, the bracket have a passive clip that can be closed by exerting no active force on the ash wire, for example diamond and smart clip. In this paper by Wright 2011, it reviewed the current literature relating the use of demon system. There is some evidence to suggest that use of demon system may lead to reduced chest at time for orthodontists, but no conclusive evidence to show there is a reduced pain experience, aligned is faster or in a qualitative different limb manner, reduced treatment time, superior occlusal or aesthetic result, and treatment result is more stable. 
Another study done by Chen in 2011, it shows that shortened chair time and slightly less incisor proclination appear to be the only significant advantages of self-legating system over conventional system. Advantages of fixed appliances. It provides bodily tooth movement and precise 3D controls of tooth movement. It can be used in complex malocclusion. It can be used in cases with high anchorage requirement. Control space closure is possible. We can incorporate multiple tooth movement in one arch. It can be used in upper and, low and lower arch. It's easier to correct rotation and not dependent on compliance for wear. However, there are a few disadvantages of fixed appliances. Firstly, oral hygiene can be problematic if the patient cannot maintain a good oral hygiene throughout orthodontic treatment. Uh, it may increase the risk of decalcification on the labial surface of, surface of the teeth. Secondly, there will be a long chest time for orthodontists. And thirdly, a clinician requires extensive training in order to put a fixed appliances to patient. In order to be a qualified orthodontist, you must undergo a four-year full-time master training in a recognized university. In Malaysia, uh, University of Malaya and University Kebangsaan Malaysia offers a master training in orthodontics. Uh, in overseas, there are four countries that are recognized by Malaysia to offer master training in orthodontics, which is United Kingdom, Australia, Singapore, and Hong Kong. You also must have a competent knowledge and qualification in orthodontics before fitting a fixed appliances to patient. And please, please, please remember, do no harm to patient. Make sure you have an extensive training before you fix uh, braces to your patient. As a recap, you should ask yourself, can you outline the indication and contraindication of fixed appliances? Can you identify the components of fixed appliances? And can you discuss the basic principles of different techniques such as age-wise, back and pre-adjusted appliances? Yeah. Okay, finally, I will suggest some books for you for your further reading. Uh, I think these books can be found in your library. And some, uh, and then you can also go to the My Health Portal MOH Malaysia to read more about fake braces, which is uh, the current issue of uh, in Malaysia. These are my references. With that, I thank you. If you have any question, you can email me. And if you want to approach me, I will be in PIDC every Friday. Okay, that's all. Have a nice day.